liked it. I thought it was very entertaining and yeah, it gives me some confidence to go and try it. I just thought, feel more in control of my photography now. Yeah, it was really interesting. I loved learning about the aperture and the shutter speed and how it's kind of like a balancing act. I learned a lot from basic stuff to more um, complex. The presenter was really good. I really enjoyed actually going up to the stage today. Didn't embarrass me, just had a lot of fun. I really recommend anyone coming to the course. So it certainly isn't about the equipment. Who's ever been confused about camera settings? Wow! <laughs> And that's the same with most people that I speak to. I've been doing these workshops around Australia, New Zealand, Singapore and so on over the last three years and everybody's the same way. You've got all these knobs and buttons and dials and stuff and you're really never too sure it's on the right setting, yes? Today my challenge is to basically give you so much information that you can go away from here and feel confident and comfortable of knowing what your camera is doing. The thing that really inspires me the most is people that have attended this class, this workshop, and have gone away and have become really incredibly creative with their photography. The enjoyment that you'll get out of understanding what your camera is capable of doing. Wow. There are only three camera settings now that you've actually got rid of the rest of those things on your knob. There are only three settings you need to even concern yourself about. We're going to talk about every one of these because the situation is that every one of these opens the door to a whole new amazing realm of creativity that you probably never even knew existed before. Who reckons it's super duper fast? As fast as you can go. Who reckons they're wrong? Why? Because the wings have got movement in it, you reckon, yes? So, uh-oh, maybe this isn't the best possible photograph. Maybe we should have used a faster shutter speed, yes? Why? Sorry? Because, isn't that fantastic? Because it conveys movement. Yes, well done. The eyes on this photograph, they're just the most beautiful blue and they really stand out. And I think the thing I also like about that then is you've got that color with the blue eyes and then you've got the green of that fabric. We've got the light coming from right above, which isn't fantastic. So what I'm going to do is move my subject forward a little tiny smidgen. And now you'll notice that we've got no real harsh shadows on the face, yeah? It would be better still if there's um, a tree and let's say there's a hole in the canopy of the tree up here. If there's a hole in the canopy of the tree up there, I can then almost see the shaft of light coming down and that's where I'm going to look at that light, pretty much as I'm doing here. And I'm going to use my razzle dazzle to capture that light and very lightly reflect it into my subject. Now see. <laughs> Look at each other. I know what's wrong. Make the most of this. <laughs> All right. Look at each other. Click. Yes, beautiful. Chin up a little touch. Head tips this way, a tiny fraction. Let's just see those fingers a little bit more. That's more better. Okay. <laughs> Click. Being keen on being involved as a photographer, being here today and being creative and hopefully now by being a part of this class, the abilities and the, the knowledge that you now have to be able to take it to the next step and know that you can capture pictures that will have more meaning to you. Um, I get excited for you about that and I hope you feel the same way because there's so much you can do with photography, so, ma so many rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and may the magic be with you. Thank you. <laughs>